Hi guys, today I'm with Dr. Krishna Williams, a teacher and author from the US, and we are going to discuss one of my favorite subjects, personal development. You know, I'm so excited about it, and I believe we are going to learn a lot from her. Hi, doctor. How are you? Hi, I'm doing fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm really good. Nice to host you on my channel. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. You know, personal development has become increasingly popular over the last two decades, and many people around the world are now engaging in personal development due to its various benefits. So can you tell us what exactly is personal development? Well, in my opinion, personal development is just taking a look at yourself, seeing where you are, thinking about ways that you can improve, and then working on those things. And it's something that isn't a one-time thing. You're constantly doing it yeah. to make yourself yeah. better. Well, well, that's it. And what are the benefits of personal development? Well, the benefits include um, learning new skills, taking yeah. yourself to different levels, uh, yeah. could possibly be an uh, increase in pay. Yeah. You know, if your personal development ties into your professional development and it usually does because as you become a more well-rounded and solid person you attract different opportunities and it's just good for you to achieve new things and take yourself to different heights so wow that's right and do you think personal development should be a priority I think it should be, you know, you only have one life and if you can spend more time putting your energy into making yourself better, it could improve the quality of your life, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. And what are the aspects of personal development? Because I know there are so many aspects of personal development. So can you give us just some aspect of it? Um, there's mental personal development. I'm the type that I like to read and learn new things. I always have a book on leadership, on parenting, wow. on teaching, something. You can always learn from other people. So there's mental personal development. There's physical personal development. Yeah. Um, yeah. This month I was invited to join a challenge where you run or walk or bike 50 miles in the month of August. Yeah. So I did that and I felt really accomplished when I met my goal. So there's physical development. A lot of people are always trying to lose weight or build muscle. There's yeah. that. Um, spiritual development, just growing in your faith, whatever that may be. Um, emotional, personal development, getting those emotions under control. Yeah. It, really, every every part of your life, yeah. you know, that involves you, you can work on developing it. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I agree with you. So how can people develop themselves? Can you give us some tips for achieving personal development? Well, what I do is, like I said earlier, just I take a look at where I'm at. Yeah. And then I think about what's working for me, what's not working for me, then I make a plan for how can I, where is it that I want to be, and then I journal everything. So I do a lot of writing. I write down exactly where it is that I want to be, wow. when I want to get there. Wow. Then I break it down into the smaller steps of how am I going to make this happen. Wow, that's and I. I also try to think about like what are some of the things that could get in my way and prevent me from doing whatever it is I want to do and I try to add that into my plan so I know how to maneuver and get around those things yeah. um, and I try to find someone who will hold me accountable a friend or maybe someone who's done whatever it is that I'm trying to do yeah, And they can check me like, well, if you really want to get there, you're going to have to 
like let's say for the challenge of running or walking the 50 miles, if you wanna get there, you need to do at least 1.62 miles every day. Are you doing your 1.62 miles every day? Someone who will encourage me and check me and make sure I'm doing what I said I wanted to do. Yeah. And then along with that, you just keep assessing, are you getting closer? If not, what do you need to change so that you can make it happen? And so it's just those steps over and over and over with consistency and you can make it happen and believe in yourself. Definitely believe in yourself. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. You know, some people find it difficult to identify their strengths and skills. Can you tell, can you tell us how can people identify their strengths or skills? I always tell people, if you're not sure, I think most people are sure of at least one or two strengths or skills that they've really nailed down. And it's kind of the things that you feel, wow, when I do this, I'm, I'm really good at this. Wow. And I, you usually like doing those things because it kind of comes naturally to you. Yeah, that's right. Um, or it'll be the things that people close to you, your friends or your teachers or family members, coworkers, that they always seem to compliment you on like, wow, you're really, you're really punctual. You're really organized. You're really a strong writer. You know, yeah. once you hear over and over, you kind of recognize, hey, that's one of my strengths. And now they have um, so many aptitude tests and um, things you can do online in a matter of minutes, it will kind of tell you these seem to be your strengths. So it's easy to find them now. Yeah. Wow. And I know many people focus on their weaknesses instead of their strengths. So do you think mm -hmm. people should focus on working on their strengths or their weaknesses? I say you kind of have to pay attention to both. Yeah. Um, as far as focusing, I would say focus on your strengths first yeah. because one, it makes you feel good about yourself. And yeah. once you know that you have some strengths, then you're more likely to tackle some of those weaknesses. You might not become perfect in those areas, but you know you can improve. Um, so work on both, but focus on your strengths. Do what you're good at. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So guys, you need to focus more on your strengths and build, build them over time. So have you ever been in a role that required you to learn new skills and what were they? Uh, I feel like with teaching, every role that I took on required new skills. I started off teaching kindergarten in the US yeah. and so it was exactly what I wanted to do, but I didn't have any children. So I was kind of learning what it took to be with them all day. Yeah. Uh, we having my name called, uh, kind of micromanaging a little bit and um, just really trying to help them figure out what they wanted to tell me, what they needed from me. So that was a lot. And after that, I went right into working in a juvenile detention facility school. So I went from little kids who constantly wanted my help to bigger kids who just wanted me to shut up, don't talk to them, leave them alone, <laughs> don't try to make them do anything. So it was a complete switch of gears. Um, so that was different. And then I'm currently in the UAE, back to teaching kindergarten. Wow. So now I'm with students who English is usually, for most of them, it's their second language. So yeah. it's requiring a whole lot of different skills. But I enjoy it. And I think that's part of the reason that I, like every three to four years, yeah. I switch gears. I switch roles and it requires me to learn something. It keeps me hungry for <laughs> the type of work that I do. Wow. Wow. That's powerful. I believe it's important to break bad habits to engage in personal development. But can you can you give us some tips on how to break bad habits? Because I know it's very difficult to do it. I would 
would say I would use the same skills that I mentioned for personal development. Just look at what are those habits that you know aren't working for you. Yeah. Um, identify what you want to do. Like maybe you don't want to completely stop the bad habit. Like I like candy. I like sugar. Yeah. I don't want to completely give it up. Yeah. But I do. <laughs> yeah. I do want to reduce how much I take in. So yeah. I write down, okay, I might only have candy, sugar twice a week. So I write it. Yeah. What am I going to do to make sure that I'm not eating so much candy? Meal yeah. plan or, you know, be specific about what it is you want to do, how you're going to do it and just start working on it. And like I said before, really believe in yourself that you can make it happen. Hold yourself accountable if you can have someone else hold you accountable and go for it. You know, whether it's something as small as eating sugar or something major, you know, just plug away at it. You could do it. Wow. Wow. How to develop new habits? To develop new habits? It's all like, it's all the same to me. Yeah. Think about what you want to do, write it down, be specific. How are you going to make it happen? Um, and keep practicing. A habit is just something that you do over and over and over. So in order for it to become a habit, you got to keep trying to do it until it starts to come naturally. So. Yeah. And what advice can you give to people who are struggling to develop themselves or improve themselves? I would just say invest in yourself and take some time like start with knowing that you're worth it you know you have things that you want to achieve or do be and just really tell yourself i'm worth this you know let me figure out what it is i want to do and to go for it and once you do it and you accomplish something you know you see yourself developing in a certain area yeah you can get kind of addictive. You're like, well, if I could do this, then this other goal that I had, I think I could do that. And you, it just starts to become natural for you. And to really just um, focus on your mindset. Like it's all a battle in the mind first. So. Well, as you said earlier on, consistency is a key to personal development. And some people take part in personal development activities and give up at some point in life. So how can they be consistent and stay the course in their personal development journey? I think you have to focus on what it was that made you start in the first place. Yeah. And if it's something that you really want and you keep that in mind, like these are the things that I wanted to get out of this, you'll keep pushing for it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And how has personal development affected your life? I didn't realize it at the time, but even when I was young, yeah. like I grew up in the church. So we would say we would learn the scriptures and recite the scriptures. And um, I look back and I think about the times, even as a little kid, like you would be afraid and you would say, you would think back to those scriptures, like, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, whatever your beliefs are, like, if you keep drawing on that, it yeah. helps you, you know. So that was something that helped me a lot as a child. And I also had teachers who, way before people were talking about um this kind of stuff, they would say things like, you need to tell yourself every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. And it was, it seemed corny at the time, but yeah. that, that's the type of stuff that really helps people develop and push, you know? Yeah. So those things became a big part of my life without me knowing it then. And now it's more intentional, you know? So every day I get up and I say, prayers and positive affirmations and like I said I read a lot like I invest in myself and I see the benefits of it daily so wow you're really spiritual then yeah. 
try to do it. <laughs> okay, oh, that's really good. So what advice can you give to people who think personal development isn't necessary? I would tell them you're right. If you don't feel that it's necessary, it won't be for you. And well, you can, you know, good. you're free, you're free to stay stuck where you are, to waste your time and your energy, and let life yeah. just pass you by. If you want to, and you're okay with that, go for it. But there's going to be plenty of other people who see it otherwise and make the choice to invest in themselves and to take advantage of different opportunities and to constantly try to improve and they'll get the results of what they go after as well. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, doctor, thank you so much for being on this show and oh, for enlightening you. our understanding of personal development. It was a pleasure hosting you. I hope you guys are motivated to take part in personal development and I've learned something from her. You can follow Dr. Krishna Williams on LinkedIn. I will leave the link to her LinkedIn profile in the video description. Thank you. Thank you.